Hi guys, it is Miss Kaylee today, and we are going to be reading I Broke My Trunk by Mo Willems, and he drew and wrote this book for me, you, and your friends to read whenever you want, and our main characters that you can see on the front page today are Gerald, and he has hurt himself somehow, he has a, a boo-boo on his trunk, and does anybody know what a trunk is by chance? Well, on a car... Um, but it is actually the elephant's nose, and his friend is also going to be in this book, and he's going to be t getting the story told to him, just like us, and his name is Mr. Pig, or Piggy, if you want. And we're going to have to read the story to figure out what has happened to our friend, Gerald. Let's see. I have not seen Gerald today. Why? Why do you think... Mr. Pig, or Piggy, hasn't seen his friend that's walking over here, Gerald. Having fun with some other people? Maybe. Gerald! He's, he's shocked. He's shocked that he's seeing his friend, that he was just wondering where it was. What has happened to your trunk, he asks. Hmm, that's a good question. Nobody knows yet. He says, I broke my trunk. Hmm. How did you break your trunk? His friend asked. Well, it is a crazy long story, he tells his friend. Tell it, tell it. He's really wondering what his friend has done to hurt himself so bad. Well, he was playing with his other friend, Mr. Hippo. You can see his friend right here. He was playing with him. Hmm, I wonder if that is how he broke his nose. You think that's how he broke his trunk, guys? Hmm, let's see. Then I had an idea. I wanted to lift Hippo onto my trunk. So he was going to pick up Hippo by his trunk, lift him up in the air like this, and lift him up. Do you think he can do that? Hmm. Mr. Pig asked, why? Why would he want to do that? He just says, because. He just wants to, you know? You ever do that? You guys ever just say, because? Hmm, I just wanted to. So, I lifted Hippo onto my trunk. Ooh, that must have been very heavy. It looks like his nose right here is kind of wobbly. And the kind, it's kind of heavy. It's hard for him to do. But a hippo on your trunk is very heavy. I would say so. I think a hippo would be very heavy on your trunk. Or your nose. Could you imagine having a hippo sit on your nose? Oh my goodness, that would be so heavy. Is that how you broke your trunk? No. Jared says no. It's, that's not how he did it. So he did it some other way. There's more to my story. So there's more. There has to be something else that he did. Then Rhino showed up. His friend Rhino showed up and he wanted to be picked up just like his friend Mr. Hippo did. So he lifted them both up by his trunk. And you can even see his his trunk is more wobbly than before, so it's getting really heavy. I could not imagine how heavy that could have been. But a hippo and a rhino on your trunk are very heavy. Look, look at our friend Gerald right here. It's so heavy for him right now. He's struggling to even stand up. Look, he's wobbling. He's running around. He's he's sweating because it's so hard for him. It's, it's scary. Is that how you broke your trunk? No. Oh, Lord. I don't know what he must have done to do break it. There's more to the story. Then Hippo's sister showed up. Hippo has a sister? Hmm. I wonder what a sister looks like. A big sister. Look how big she is. She She's a little bit bigger than her brother and Mr. Um, Hippo. Or Mr. Rhino. Did she want to turn to ask ask Gerald's friend, Mr. Piggy? Yes, she did. She wanted to turn to be lifted up. But she also wanted to play her her piano. While while sitting on his trunk with his with the two other friends. And that must be super heavy. Two hippos, one rhino, and a piano on your trunk are very, very heavy. I could not imagine. Could you imagine having all that weight on your very tip of your nose? Look, 
He can barely even do it. She's playing the piano. Have you guys ever heard of piano? I like the sound of the pianos. Is that how you broke your trunk? No, Gerald says, no, that's not how I broke it. This is a long, crazy story, Pig says. Gerald, how did you break your trunk? He's questioning and screaming and yelling. He's frantic. He's so curious on how his friend has broken his trunk. Well, I was so proud of what I have done because he lifted up so many people. That I ran to tell my very best friend about it. He wanted to tell his friend, Mr. Pig, about how he had lifted so much weight on the very tip of his nose. I would be proud of that. Would you be proud of lifting all that weight? I know I would. But Gerald tripped and fell. You can see right here, he fell onto the ground. And he broke his trunk. So he actually didn't run into a wall, and he didn't break it, lifting all of his friends up, but he fell and broke it. That is crazy. You broke your trunk running to tell me a story? Asked his friend, Mr. Pig. <laughs> that is a crazy story. That is a funny story. That is really funny. Don't you think? I think that's really funny that he fell. And broke his trunk instead of breaking his trunk while lifting all those crazy heavy weights, right? And that is the end of the story. And I want to thank you guys for sitting here and figuring out how our friend Gerald broke his trunk. And I want to thank you guys. And I'm so excited to do this again with you guys.